let's imagine you're at a stoplight, faced with a choice to go or to stop. What if I told you this is actually an example of game theory? Game theory is a mathematical field that helps derive an optimal strategy based on players' different decisions for a given game. Many fields such as economics, business, politics, and war use concepts of game theory. There are many branches and nuances of game theory, but I'd like to focus on Dash Equilibrium. Dash Equilibrium occurs when a strategy change is not beneficial for each player. For instance, when looking back at our example, let's imagine there's no enforcement laws on the stoplight, meaning your choice directly correlates to whether you want to save time or not, would you still respect the stoplight rules? First, we can graph all our players' strategies in a payout matrix, which helps us analyze each player's payout for following a specific strategy. The labels represent each player's decision, and the numbers represent the time wasted or saved. In a situation where the stoplight signals the other player to proceed, waiting would be the best option to avoid a potential car crash and a huge time loss. The other player would likely prefer to keep going to avoid a small time delay. Despite the absence of law enforcement, following the stoplight remains the smartest decision to get to your destination quickly. Now this situation may seem very simple, but things get complicated when we start talking about infinite games. Infinite games are defined as a game in which all players try to keep the game in play. There are no winners or losers in an infinite game, only those who drop out due to lack of motivation or resources. Let's consider two cookie selling companies, facing the choice of reducing prices or keeping them the same. We can plot their strategies in a payout matrix and analyze them from there. Reducing prices may be the best strategy in this situation, as it gives us the best reward no matter the opponent's strategy. This is called a dominant strategy, and both players have one in this situation. But in a continuous game such as business, it could trigger a price war. As both players reduce the price, they end up overall reducing profits. In such cases, maintaining stable prices is an ash equilibrium, as it ensures both parties can stay stable. Like this, other factors in business such as advertising, innovation, extension, and competition can all be analyzed using game theory. I hope this video has given you a new view of the world, as you see examples of game theory all around you. Checkmate.